What's up guys? Well, today I was in my truck and I went to grab something from down here. I hit this wire and I heard the beep and this went out and hasn't worked. Well, it stopped working. That was right before I showed up on site where I am. Problem um, is I ripped the connector right here off by accident. So, <clears throat> just pull everything out of there. I keep this thing velcroed in place so it doesn't bounce around. I did a review video on this thing about a year ago. This thing's great. I use it every day. It's a 200, 400, let's see, 200, 400 watt continuous power inverter Sentec from Harbor Freight. I got no complaints about this thing. I will blow the fuse on occasion, but other than that, it's no big deal. So now what I need to do is I gotta repair this. First things first, I'm gonna have to strip this. So I'm gonna give myself a brand new end on here to start working with. Now my strippers, this looks like 16 gauge or 14. Definitely not the 12. Not easy one handed. Now you want to do this without destroying the copper. I lost one or two strands, but if you thin the copper too much, it can't handle the amperage good. So. That, crimp it. Now you're just going to slide this into your connector. And then with a crimping tool, crimp down on it. But, let me see if I have a different crimping tool. Crimper. This looks like it's a little big for what I'm using. Alright, so I found the yellow connector, which it's a lot better of a fitting. The other one, it was swimming a lot. This is not swimming as much in there as you can see. So to crimp, you mostly want to make sure that you're inside. So inside this, you got the metal as far up. But on this side, you can see it, so that's why. And you bring in this. In here again, one handed, not the easiest, but once I'm on, I'm on. Okay, now that I'm in position, wire is where I want it. All you do is you squeeze, okay? Most of you guys watching know how to do this, but there's people who find my video sometimes that don't. And this failure here was my fault because the wire I keep plugged in here. I probably should just keep it right behind it so there's not so much tension on it. Let me just put this back on. Here's the broken. This fell to the floor when I took it off. That's no fault of the manufacturer. 100% fault of me. Put that on and you just take this and this just spins on. Now, I should do because the way I keep the wire is spin it on but it's facing in the up direction already. I saw in Harbor Freight, I think they have the 800 watt one, the 4 800 for 20 bucks. I think I got this thing for 15 bucks. Keep all my cell phones and everything charged. This thing is freaking great. Okay. Put this back in a position on its Velcros. Because we had to start the drive. But like I said, it's my fault to keep it plugged in right here. should probably switch to protect it. 
before I get in to here. So I don't have so much crap. Anything in my friggin' mess. I keep a box here, full stuff, miscellaneous stuff. I try to keep it somewhat clear on the floor. First one plug in. This was just charging a flashlight. So I'm getting back on the road. Hope you enjoyed that quick repair. And if you're in the market for an inverter, check this guy out. 2400 not bad i think he's the largest one that comes with one of these plugs but it's only rated for eight amps to fuse on it i'm gonna probably get two four i mean it's a 15 amp fuse on that circuit but until next time i'm out guys